super awesome video game show that is totally serious, and we're paying attention and everything. Oh, reels. Wait, what is the show again? Wow, only forty nine ninety five for red boots for a sixty dollar game. That uh, seems like a hell of a deal, right? Yeah, I mean, I I, I like red boots. Just kidding. <laughs> well, welcome everybody back to the super awesome video game show. Blah 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 blah. I can't remember the name of the acronym here. I'm Jeff. I'm John. Uh, and in addition to big old tutorials about games that I've played for too long, one of the other things I want to do on this show is look at some early access games. So. I you know this game is is the very definition of why early access is bothersome to me. Yeah. Uh, because it seems like a full game. Yeah. Um, it's almost like they just gave you the the ninety nine percent completed, and they're just going to use your stuff to turn that down just a little bit uh, as a um, as a way to kind of finish out you know the last five percent of their development or whatever. So yeah, this is Wasteland 2, and it's $60 on Steam, and yeah. as long as you don't care about what graphics look like, I kind of think it's worth it so far. Seems like it. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead I'm and digging it. create a character. So this is like straight up fucking Fallout right here. You've got coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence, charisma, um, and so... If you read each one of these, it, it kind of gives you, you know, con, con level is your uh, hit points. So you basically have hit points. You've got action points and then the number of things that you can do per action point. I'm going to go ahead and um, do this the way that I normally do, which is a couple of points in initiative, chance to evade, bonus melee, number of action points. This is also... Number of action points, bonus range to hit chance. Yeah, so I'm going to put one in that, two in that, one in that, and I'm going to make Joe average. How's that look? Looks pretty good. Just good old-fashioned uh, every man. Uh, and then you get 12 points to put into skills. You've got combat, knowledge, skills, and general skills. And there's one thing that's really weird here, John. Okay. Uh Toaster repair. Well, you know, sometimes you want toast. I like the description. The ability to repair and maintain toasters. People leave the damnedest things in there. Use toaster repairs on any broken toasters you come across. You never know what you might find inside. Okay. Sure. So I, you know, for most of these types of games, I mean, you get skill points every time you upgrade. So I usually, you know, you can put a couple into handguns, right? Yeah. And maybe a couple into assault rifles. Chances are that's going to take you through the beginning of the game. Um, what is this? Crushing, demolitions, safe cracking, toaster repair. I don't know. Uh, animal whispering, like Caesar Milan. Wow. Evasion. Talk to chickens. Apparently. Sounds pretty good. Field medic. Why not? Field stripping. Hey, I don't think that means what we think it means. I think it does. I take it. Wait, hard ass. Wait, the art of bullying and intimidating others into telling you what you want to know. Or kiss ass. The art of manipulating others and telling you what you know by apparently okay. kissing their ass. <laughs> I'm going to go with hard ass. Yeah. Uh, all right. I already made a, a dude, so I'm going to make a lady. I'm going to call her, hmm, what to name, what to name. I'm not using any of the ones that we've already yeah, used. Yeah, no, of course not. Of course not. Uh, um, Bernice. Bernice. That's a good name. She's 47. She's a uh, Hindu, smokes red roosters, yeah, okay. and is a uh, Mexican? Mexican Hindu? Mexican okay. Hindu, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, Bernice. Yeah. Bernice. Sounds I, about right. Yeah, yeah, I met her. She works, at, uh, she works down at the, the local convenience store. Oh, no. Okay, so this may be a terrible thing that just happened. The last time I hit the next button, this page just totally, like, stopped. Oh, and That's I had to actually good. alt tab out and alt tab back in, but uh, oh, there we go! Okay, Holy good. shit! Hey, sh Bernice looks kind of cool. Bernice looks like a superhero. Let's use the magic randomize button. What? Now Bernice has a beard. Bernice is or, playing. No, it's a strap. Bernice Sorry. is playing Daisy apparently, because that's what everybody looks like in there. Bernice likes to mine. mine. What? <laughs> You know, I went through all of the male character customization options. I see anything that looked anything remotely like this bullshit. Well, you know, 
like a Chunli buns. Yeah, kind of plain that one. Uh, Chinese American Indian. Yeah, yeah. Minor. There you go. I think that I, I yeah. mean, let's go with Bernice. Uh, yeah, no, oh. I, I dig it. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I think I think I met that girl at a rave one time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Do do. I don't. Pick our character portrait, obviously. I don't know. Why not? Okay, Just go fine. with that one. There yeah. we go. Done. All right. And then we're going to add some other folks in here. You got some pre made people. Cherry Bomb. I'm going to put pills in because you need a combat medic. Um, and I've already used Fade as a good long range guy. And uh, let's see. Give him a badge and a gun. I'm going to go with Big Bird as well. I, okay. I, used, I used all these guys before. Um, and they're pretty. <coughs> this guy's a melee. This guy's range, and she's a medic, so works Sounds out pretty about well. Right. Now, th this game is actually uh, what I know about this game is obviously the, it's it's a sequel to, to Wasteland. Sure. Uh, you which, actually get Wasteland one for Steam when you buy it. Oh, and, and, that, cool. and that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, it was done through Kickstarter at first. Mm -hmm. Can you turn it back up just a little bit? Um, and then uh, I guess it was supposed to originally be released. Uh, it originally supposed to be released in October, but then they had to push back the release date in, to to sometime in 2014. Okay. Uh, back in July, they made the announcement. Mm -hmm. uh, and basically, it's a it's a complete game as of right now. It's early access. It's a complete game, but they're still touching on say the like the, or improving the graphics, the frame rate, uh, and, and even some of the controls and combat and things like that. Well, combat's, I mean, like, I played a little bit of this before you got here, and combat's a little rough. It's not like, you know, it's not, it's it's functional. Yeah. Uh, it's just not like, okay, so throughout, I, I kind of got a problem here, John. Okay. Um, I never played Wasteland. Like, okay. Maybe that's heresy to some people, but, like, I didn't have, I mean, around the time that that was out, I didn't have a PC. I had I'm, a Mac. I'm, I'm actually right there with you, except I didn't have a Mac. I just, I, I think, I don't think I was very old when Wasteland came out. Uh, yeah, so, I, I mean, I never got a chance to play it, and um, so it's funny because I, I know, I know, I know you guys, I know what I'm about to say, but I look at this and I'm like, man, this is like Fallout. It's like, no, no, I know it's the other way around. I know that's like being like, boy, uh, Warhammer 40K really ripped off StarCraft. You yeah, know? It's yeah. Like, it's yeah. like saying one of those things where it makes nerds' heads just explode. And most of the time, it makes my head explode as well. But um, this thing, if you were looking for like, if this thing had come out, you know, like a two years after Fallout 3, and it had been called, or two years after Fallout 2, and it had been called Fallout 3, that would make a hell of a lot of sense to yeah. me. Uh, so I got this shovel earlier, and I got this whole little thing in the ground that I'm going to try to try to use my... Oh wait, did I just drop my shovel? You may have dropped your shovel. Yep. Grab the shovel. You need to equip the shovel. No, you just have to, like, use it. Like, no. You no, just dropped just it again. again. God damn it. I actually played this before we started so that I could avoid doing shit like this. I'm... I, I can see that. Uh, let's see. If I put it in my hot bar, maybe? maybe. Use on ground. There, there we go. There you go. <coughs> um, so, yeah, like, if you're any kind of fan of Fallout 1 or 2... Wait, there's nothing there. Well, why did... Damn it, game. Don't tell me that there's shit on the ground if there's no shit on the ground. Um, this game seems pretty freaking cool. So yeah. we kind of skipped over it, but our first task is there was a ranger that was sent out to... Uh, hook up these uh, radio uh, transmitters, and okay. he hasn't been heard from, and he's dead, apparently, and we need to go find his shit and finish his mission. Um, so, with the hellaciously bad load times here. So, here we are on the overhead map, and it seems like everything, all travel on this is based on, you've got this water resource, uh, and also Ranger radiation Echo over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're, we're done. Um, so much like a much like old Fallout, you just hit a thing and then you go across the map, uh, and you'll find. A, I don't know if there's random encounters yet. I haven't seen any, but I do know that if this is the same as when it was in my game, that we'll find a little something something up here. Um, I wonder if it's the sort of thing like you know. Have you ever seen a speed run of Fallout? Uh oh, uh oh, oh shit! 
Yeah. Dangerous Raiders approaching. There you go. Random encounters. God, I love me some random encounters. Well, sort of. Sometimes. Uh, Kevin always gets on me about that, but I'm like, how else are you supposed to grind XP and become, like, way more powerful? If you want to live, I don't even have that much. And why is Big Bert talking for the group? Because... Bernice is obviously, oh my god, we're just like Mexican standoff the shit out of this. Holy crap, they're shooting. John, they're shooting. Oh god, <laughs> shoot back, man. Uh, look at this. It's like the fucking, my grandma is attacking us. <laughs> uh, 72, 72, yeah. 72. We yeah. Got five, five, five. Oh, these guys are going to die. Then kill them. Uh, is this Pills's? Okay. Oh, come on, Pills. You can be a better shot than that. And this is go attack. So right now, I mean, as near as I can tell, I don't know if once you level up, if um, if it gets better. But like combat is very much either. It's like a it's just a percentage with a, a yes no on it. So it seems like there isn't a lot of finesse to it really. Like you can't yeah. um, you can't like aim for the eyes or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That one down, and who's that one down? Yeah, these guys did not uh, did not choose the right people with which to fuck, because uh oh. Well, I say that as my character is almost dead. <laughs> no, not Bernice. Not Bernice. Oh god damn it, pills! You suck at this. Damn it! Oh, you guys, you're <sighs> you're really doing a number on me here. Uh, okay, what is this? Five, so I can got two to move. So if I move right up in front of you, what? And then you don't have enough to shoot at them. But it says five, right? It yeah. said, like, AP, oh, this is four, and that's six. I'm sorry, I was looking at the number of shots that was going to take. Yeah. So I can still get you with the three-round burst. There you go. Uh, that did enough. Eat three-round burst, stupids. And this is, these are three apiece, so I'm going to... Yeah, move the, uh, so we're not looking at the cactus in the way. <laughs> okay, come on, Pills. There you go. Good job, Pills. So, yeah, so far, what? I get one XP for each one of these fucking assholes? Well, it's the beginning of the game, Jeff. Yeah, but, like, come on, man. Raiders are worth lots. Uh, Unless you're, you know, in California. What's that? Oh, that sports jokes. Sports jokes. Sorry. Sports jokes. Sorry. John Sitton's into sports, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not actually. That's the funny part. Point and laugh. I heard that they have to put up uh, like uh, iron fences to keep the Raiders fans from eating uh, people from out of town. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Uh, all right. What do we got here? 30 out 6, 762, some energy cells. What's a Lugler? That's not how you spell Luger, you guys. Eh. They probably have to change the name just a little bit. What is this? Three to five? Luglers are three to seven, and they use nine millimeter? Hell yeah. I'll totally take that, and I'll give the other Luglers two pills. It just sounds weird every time that word comes out of my mouth. It does. Lugler. Lugler. Um, okay, you got 30 out six. It like uh, This part, it seems like after every battle, you the first thing that you do is go in and start rolling down the inventory management. Yeah. Um, Got lock picks, got painkillers. Did the, none of those guys have any blood? I don't. Packs? Uh, I thought there was one or two. Well, pills has some by default, oh. but god damn it! All right, well we got some luglers, but my character got messed up. Uh, there we go. Come on, Bernice, you got this. I'm just gonna use up all my. I'm gonna use up all this shit right now. Which oh, well, that's gonna screw us over later. Eh, you know, when I first started, the the first raiders that I encountered kind of messed me up a little bit. But as time has gone on, it's become not that big a deal. No, oh, okay. I'm still wondering. Okay, you know what? This is a curious thing. In Bernice's inventory, what is this? No, no description. description. <laughs> Wasteland rave gear. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're good to go. Let's get the fudge fudge out of here. Uh, let's see here. Back to the world map. Back to the world map. I don't like this giant, like, weird globe. Yeah, I don't like the fact they put that, that big old thing down there. <coughs> and I'm also curious, I was playing another game called Neo Neo Survivor, I think, hmm. that somebody okay. from the site, oh, that one of our news editors actually recommended to me. 
Um, and I'm wondering kind of the level of, like, because there's like a repair skill. Like, I wonder how far into this game, like, you know, I remember in Fallout 2, I never got to the point where you were able, apparently at one point you were able to get like a car running. I think I managed to do it once in Fallout 2. Yeah. But then once it ran out of gas, I just left it where it laid because I could never find any gas. Ah, there we go. An oasis. Yeah. Hidden oasis. Yes. Okay. That should refill our water. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's go on to this radio tower. <coughs> so, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know the idea of charging essentially. I, so I think about the the something we've discussed in the podcast before, kind of the ideology of charging full price for a game that isn't really finished. Yeah. Like it's content complete, right? But they still are bug bashing it and going through like system uh, streamlining and stuff like yeah. that. Like I don't, I don't well, know if that's really super ethical. It, it may not be ethical, but I get why they're doing it, which is um, they probably used up most of, if not all, the money from the... The Kickstarter. the Kickstarter, and they went well. If we do this early access thing and give people access to the the beta, then we'll get that money now, and we can use it to further fund the development of the game. And I, yeah, I understand that. I, I think that's another thing that that kind of goes part and parcel with the whole thing about Kickstarter is that um, uh, pick up. There we go. Hmm. We got that was the star from the guy who got yeah. killed here. Um, you know what? I'm going to come at these assholes from this side this time. <coughs> Hopefully they're still there. Yeah, maybe so. Maybe not. Uh, last time I came down here, there was like three raiders. Yeah, there yeah, they go. Yeah, they are. Okay. Can I get, get you behind a rock? Uh, No, dude. I'm going to totally going to mess you guys up. Like, I don't know if you're familiar with this, but... Like, I know we're rangers and everything, and maybe we're supposed to be, like, diplomatic and shit, but, uh, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> um, like, I, I think that's one of those things where people have a... don't have a real clear view of how much it actually costs to, to make a video game. Yeah. Because there have been, like, places that have totally gone through, like, multiple Kickstarter campaigns just to get their game out. Yeah, no, I I, I don't bitch. know about those places that do, like, multiple Kickstarters. Like, I'm always weirded out by that. Yeah. But I, I get, like I said, doing a Kickstarter and then doing early access, I am i don't have as much of an issue with. God damn it. But doing multiple Kickstarters is definitely not ethical. Yeah, well, no, well, I don't know. I mean, it kind of depends on, like, what is the Kickstarter for? Yeah, I guess you got a good point there. Like, if, if the multi, if the second Kickstarter's for DLC, that's something different. Well, no, what I'm thinking is, oh, man, I just <laughs> shot, you shot yourself, <laughs> man. Um, it, no, what fired. I'm thinking is if the uh, if the second Kickstarter, like, if you have one Kickstarter to essentially make the game, then you have a second Kickstarter, like, for this game's never actually going to see the light of day unless we have a Kickstarter to do, like, cert costs and stuff like that. I mean, that's not completely unethical in my opinion, but mm. I don't know. It's um, yeah, it's a little odd. Yeah, it is a little odd. It, you get to a gray gray area. Yeah. Uh, so this this game does have like the whole cover mechanic that um, XCOM had. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. I didn't even realize it was like that the first time that I played. Uh, I just ran my dudes right out in front of the fire, and then those and then the enemies started like crouching down behind shit, and I was like, oh, fuck you. Get over there. Take some cover. Uh, Bernice, you don't have any... I don't have a real good line of sight on these guys. No, you don't. I'm going to just try to keep them interested in her while my other guys flank. Uh, also, this camera... A little... Uh, well, they need that, that shit where it, like... See where I'm looking at right now? Yeah. Like, I can't zoom in any further than that. They need to, like make that shit not be in my face yeah well it's like I, I and i think that that may be one of the things that i'm hoping that hopefully they're working on because i did notice um when you were when i came here you were playing part of the game and some of the items that were in the foreground would actually disappear yeah if they obstructed your view but apparently trees do not oh uh, fuck so hopefully that's one of the things that they're gonna fix oh this is that guy okay I get this guy and the range guy confused. Also, the AI is kind of stupid uh, sometimes about this stuff. 
where it should really be um, like just taking a step around cover and then shooting me like that. And then it's just, it'll, it'll totally try to shoot a guy that's like super, super behind cover instead of just taking a step out like that and shooting them right yeah. in the fucking face. Oh, god damn Did it. Did you just shoot your own guy? No, it was a, it was like a miss. It was like Pills was trying to shoot and she just ended up shooting that dude. <laughs> All right. Um, but it's, you know, it's satisfying and I'm a sucker for a good a, a good turn-based game. Yeah. Like, yeah. I've I've always been of the opinion that it's like why did we ever stop making third person turn based games like Fallout and I mean you know XCOM I guess did it did it they like, they did it well Banner Saga just recently had yeah. a nice you know yeah. <sighs> so I don't understand a lot of times why we ever why we ever stopped that shit I, I actually can and I can tell you pretty well oh yeah they don't work for shit on consoles uh, XCOM I mean, didn't do that bad XCOM actually did pretty well but. I'm just saying, up until recently, up until XCOM, these games never really worked that well on consoles. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can say that Halo Wars was it? Uh, oh, try, sort of, yeah. maybe. Fucking piece um, of shit. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it, well, it, I don't know. Some people have a, a weird love for that game, but I, I never played it, so I, I really shouldn't be talking too much shit about it yeah. because. But my point being is that we kind of got to a point where I hate to say it, but we stopped really sh showing love towards PC games. Like if something was going to work, it needed to work on a console. Yeah, it needed to work on both a PC and a console. Mm -hmm. um, but I am glad that we're seeing kind of a with games like XCOM and this and, you know, however many else, because I'm sure there's at least a you know Banner Saga and a load of others, yeah. that we're starting to see kind of a resurgence of this. Yeah, yeah, and it's a good thing too. Or, well, I, I enjoy it um, because, well, once again, but see, I'm, I'm a weirdo in that, like, I also... I've got the opinion of, like, why did we ever stop making 2D side-scrolling Metroidvania games? Yeah, okay, so these guys say... I got hard-ass level one, don't I? Oh, why is it having pills talk? I've got hard-ass level one! God damn it. <laughs> I think it's based on who's closer. All right, honestly, it was just completely... I could have been moving in a lot better fashion. Oh, shit, he's totally on the wrong side of all this. Yeah, he is. Stupid pathing. Tried pathing with this with this game before. Tried getting these guys out of town before we started, and it was just like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Game just literally had no idea what to do. Yeah. Like guys actually got caught on the on, on the fence. The scenery, so Oh no! Don't oh, okay. Oh he missed. Don't worry. These guys are stupid. Oh no, it's a dog. I hate killing dogs in games. Oh. Uh Oh, shit. Let's see. What do we got here? You're a little bit messed up. You're not messed up at all. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, I think that it would be really nice if... I mean, like, I, like once again, I need to get up the skill tree a little bit more to know for sure, but I would like to see some, you know... Um, Maybe maybe Animal Whisperer allows you to shoot him in the no well oh. <laughs> to talk to the dogs and bring them to your side. That's right. Convince them. Yeah, you, you convince the dogs that that their masters are evil and that Bear. to turn on them. God damn. Bernice is getting messed up, isn't she? Yep. There you go. Ah, uh, um. Wait, feral dogs. Wait, did you see the 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 character portrait on that thing? No. Looking like a terror dog. God oh. damn. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, seriously. Like uh kind of looks like that that one dog that that image of it was going around on the internet. Oh, like the ugliest dog yeah. in the world or whatever. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's why I don't like killing dogs in video games. I don't I know why I get like no cover whatsoever uh, from this this fence with the giant things in it. All right, I gotta get somebody over here to take care of this asshole. Oh yeah, he's over there. I completely forgot about oh, him. God damn it! Um, it's gonna be pleasant. It's also too bad you can't just jump over that stuff. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. You need some cover. See, she's got the little red dot means that um, she's bleeding. Oh. Oh, and she doesn't have... A, but she's got enough of a medical skill that uh, she's got... Like, some of these guys have, like, powers, essentially. Yeah. That you can activate. Um, and I'm not entirely sure. I haven't been able to find any for, like, the my gun toting folks yet. Um, I know that uh, Big Bert or whatever has... Uh, I keep wanting to call him Big Bertha. <laughs> um, the Big Bert has this one, the Smash Brute Force. And I don't know if that's, like, to open boxes or if you can... Here, let's try to use it on a guy. Nope. Okay. It's probably used to smash open boxes. Yeah. So, okay, we're done here. Let's get... Gee, Bert. Good job, Bert. Uh, let's see if we can... Get... Now, I had... At one point, I had um, a character... My main character, actually... Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, become, like, fall in battle. Yeah. And I don't think I knew how to stabilize him right. That is the one thing that I'm definitely going to say that I do not like about this so far, is that it is not... It is not forthcoming about information about oh, yeah. how skills work and stuff like that. Um, like, it would have been nice to have had that information and not had my main character die early on just because I didn't I didn't know what to do. That was all that would happen. Because the thing is that when you're in combat and, you're, and a character falls to the ground, it'll say, like, you have 19 turns before they bleed out. Yeah. But when you're out of combat... Everything happens in real time, so it was like you have 39 seconds until they bleed out. Oh, Jesus. Um, man, okay, so we kind of took a took a bath on that one. Uh, yes. Um, who's got the painkillers? <laughs> it's, it's always the question, isn't it? Yeah. Who's yeah. got the painkillers? Uh, okay, I'll let, I'll let you... I'll let her administer said painkillers... I wonder if she gets a bonus for the first aid. <sighs> the, yeah, and I don't know if I mentioned it before, but like, it's it's not super good to play this game real super zoomed in. <laughs> it's not it's not exactly it's not the ugliest game in the world or anything. No, but no, it's definitely not pretty. Yeah, it could use some polishing. I really hope that by the time this thing goes into like full on super production or full on full release, that they spend a little bit of time working on that stuff. Uh, okay, so let's get one moving. day you're just gonna there's gonna be an update and you're gonna turn it on. And it's gonna look like a completely different game. That's another question. I mean, that's another problem that I have when you do early access. Is like, am I ever gonna turn this on again, or like until it comes out? Metal leg. Huh. All right. I don't think that was even here last time I was here. Is there still a yeah, there's a box over here? Um, smash it. Oh. You don't need to smash. Just open. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> You've been hanging around Jason too long, John. No. No. Usually, you know, you brought up earlier how there was, like, force, brute force to open, like, a... And we were talking about boxes, and I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, it's a toaster. Hey. Wait, I wish have... Wish you had that uh, that skill now, don't did, you? I, I did, didn't I? Didn't I put something in? No, I don't think so. Oh, what? Could have repaired a toaster. But son of a... None of my... None of my peeps have toaster repair. Shit. All right, fine. There you go. Now you know for later. But what's in it? If it's like I open it up and it's like, hey, one med pack. Be like, great. If you open you it know up, what's in it? I'll tell you what's in it. Toast. Toast. That's what's in it. Fifty-five-year-old toast. Fifty-five-year-old irradiated toast, and it is delicious. Hmm. It is the best toast you have ever eaten. I don't it will know. kill you, but it will be the best toast you've ever eaten. I don't entirely trust your your toast assessment. Where, what are your qualifications, John? Where'd you go to toast school? The TU. Toast, toast Academy. Toast University. <laughs> toast Academy of yeah, Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah, Minneapolis. That's it. <laughs> I don't know what's in Minneapolis. It could be Toast Academy for all I know. Uh, okay. It's the Mall of America there. So we're trying to find dude's, uh, like, receiver, the parts that he was supposed to use to repair these uh, oh. antennas right now. Hopefully he didn't hide them in the toaster. Yeah, that'd be a real pain in the ass. If what you spend the entire game like looking for his shit, and it turns out that it was in that toaster that was in the very first area. Yeah. Cool. More painkillers. I often wonder if video games are, if the youth of America 
have become if, if they're just like painkillers, right? That's what you take when you're injured. I saw it in Max Payne. I saw it in Wasteland too. I've seen it in any number of games where they're just like, whoa, that is a creepy looking toad thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna straight up attack that instead of trying to reason with it. I guess, or I don't know what I would be. Uh, okay. Why do you get to? God damn it. Weapon t What? What the shit? He took my weapon. Why can't I zoom in? Okay, there we go. Uh, do you have... Okay, yeah, fucking... Fuck that bitch up. Uh, let's see. Can I get a little bit better angle? I kind of wish... one where you wouldn't hit your uh, teammate? I kind of... Yeah, I kind of wish that there was a grid. Oh, wait, you know what? I think there might actually be... Draw combat grid. There we go. No? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Uh, I wonder if he's going to totally... Oh, god damn it. I keep forgetting that it doesn't reload every time you're, n you're out of combat. You get terrible situations like this. Did your character not have a weapon? I had a knife. I, I, I equipped a knife in my opposite hand. Oh, nice. But uh, my character isn't in any way proficient in hand-to-hand, -hand, so... Uh, apparently. I'm like, how hard is it to hit the gigantic frog in the face? He's pretty spry. There you go. I get my... Can get my gun back? Get my gun back. There we go. Wait, didn't I have more of those? Didn't I have, like, three of those? I think you did. Okay, I could have just done that. Herp, herp, and derp. Herp a derp indeed. Lesson learned. Moving on. All right. So this should be the transceiver, I believe. Yep. Peter units. Got some. Oh, this is a crudely drawn map of a uh, raider camp. Okay. And anybody get messed up there? You got messed up. You know what? That worked way better when. Uh, Oh, there we go. See now, now our cook is on the radio. Yeah, <laughs> there's just there's a lot of this stuff that I think just um, okay that just um, needs more polish. Yeah, like it it feels like a, a fully functional beta right now, um, and that's kind of what it is. It's a fully functional beta. Yeah. Just sixty, just sixty dollars, man. It's hard to get over sixty dollars, John. All right. Well, you know what? We're we're done. That's uh, that's this episode complete of yeah of episode of this episode one. We're gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna have um, more of a. I've I've actually played a little bit further down into the game, so we're gonna have a little bit look at a a later part of the game. Yes. So uh, I hear there are giant sentient plants involved. So it will not actually be, <coughs> excuse me, Bernice. Uh, but we'll get to show you guys a little bit later down the road when you've got a little bit more equipment and a few more levels. So join us back tomorrow for another episode of the Super Awesome Video Game Show. Um, you guys know what to do. with you know If you like this, hit like, hit subscribe. Let us know in the comments how you feel about this. Um, you know, we were, we, our first episodes were definitely, you know, we're Dark Souls, yeah. right? But we, I wanted a place where we could also do early access stuff, so... You know, let us know. We're open to feedback. We're not going to, you know, uh, yeah. be, be upset or anything. No. What do you like? What don't you like? Uh, and we will catch you guys back here tomorrow. Later. <laughs>